Greetings and salutations my movie loving friends. My name is Gilbert Ybarra and welcome back to The Attic Review. On today's episode of TAR, I want to talk about the fascinating new Adam Sandler movie, Spaceman. First off, this is going to be loaded with spoilers. I apologize, but there's just no way for me to discuss this movie without some of the surprises that are in it, so I apologize. However, with that being said, yo, this movie is freaking weird. Weird, but surprisingly touching and deep. All right, I thought we were exploring space here, not the deepest, saddest parts of the human psyche and soul. But this film uses cosmonaut Jacob as its vessel to show all of us how we can all ease our personal pain and despair. I know, an Adam Sandler movie making me all emotional. Adam Sandler plays our title character of Spaceman, and this guy is a mess of twisted emotions that he's learned to bury, which is a good thing if you're a cosmonaut getting ready to go hang out in Jupiter and see what this purple cloud's all about, but it's a bad thing if you're a husband and your wife is expecting your child and you are as distant to her as you are in space as you are in person. This motherfucker is so lonely and so sad that he gets a little visitor, a cosmo psychologist to help him deal with his grief that he is flooding this universe with. But here's where this shit gets weird and honestly freaked me the hell out the rest of the movie. Think about that movie Castaway with Tom Hanks and how he had Wilson, you know the volleyball. Okay, now mix in a little arachnophobia or maybe some eight-legged freaks. Okay, now put in some goodwill hunting and that's the best way I can describe this madness. Yes, you heard me. Okay, we've got some castaway, eight-legged freaks, and goodwill hunting. You put those together, we equal spaceman. Spoiler alert. I had no clue. It was a talking fucking spider that was going to be the co-star of this shit. Granted, he has a very soothing voice, but god damn it, I had no warning that I was going to be face to face with Sandler's tired looking ass and then this arachnid. <laughs> I'm not saying that I have arachnophobia, but it is unnatural to see a spider that big offering psychological help out here in Deep Space Nine. And even though the spider promised Sandler he wasn't here to eat him, I never bought that shit. I thought the whole thing was a ruse. I thought this was one big spidery trap. But it wasn't. And after the hysteria of accepting a talking spider named Hanoush, the movie gets exceptionally emotional and deep as Hanoush offers to help the hurting, skinny human to untangle his web of emotions. I don't want to give away any more than I already have, so I'll keep my synopsis to that. But it is a surprisingly touching film that helped me address some of my issues. Not all of them because So yeah, that freaky spider that looks like it could have came from the ending of Stephen King's It, I don't like that thing so much. But I did like the notion and it caught me off guard and honestly I really respected the film's creative efforts. Looks like I finally found some competition for loneliest and saddest men in the universe. But Jacob one up me, being so sad that he got himself a goddamn spider therapist. I guess I'm not that sad. And I don't ever want to be down that bad that a web MD from space has me on the therapy couch. God damn. <laughs> Pardon the pun or don't. But this movie and concept is just out of this world. Yeah, I should have deleted that pun. But seriously, let your guard down for this one and you'll be surprised by how heartfelt this is and honestly, what a unique concept from a novel that I've got to read now. And that's it for today's episode of TAR and my high admiration for Sandler as Spaceman. I hope you enjoyed this movie as much as I did. I promise it's worth it. It has been an absolute pleasure. Please like, comment, share your thoughts. Subscribe and tell your friends about the channel. My name is Gilbert Ybarra and thank you so much for watching the Attic Review. Smile Tiger.